Imagine a fighter jet so fast it can pierce the edge of the stratosphere and now armed with a missile so advanced that intercepting it is almost impossible. That is the fearsome reality NATO and Ukraine now face as Russia's MiG. 31i interceptor fleet undergoes a dramatic upgrade that could transform the future of air combat. In a series of recent reports and military briefings, Moscow has confirmed that its MiG-31i aircraft, already among the world's fastest interceptors, are now being rearmed with an advanced hypersonic strike missile with a range of up to 400 kilometers. This upgrade is not just a technological milestone, it's a direct message to the West that Russia intends to maintain dominance in the skies and strike with devastating precision deep behind enemy lines. The announcement coincides with a surge in Russian long-range strike operations across Ukraine, where MiG-31i jets and their deadly Kinzhal missiles have already proven their battlefield value. So this is what we have to tell you. The missile's upgrade is not just about technical specifications, it's about operational flexibility. Kinzhal can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, making it suitable for a wide range of missions, from precision strikes on command centers and bunkers to the destruction of high-value infrastructure deep inside enemy territory. Its new 400 km class variant even extends its reach against airborne targets, including AWACS surveillance aircraft, refueling tankers, and bomber formations, allowing Russia to shape the battlefield before enemy forces can react. The most recent demonstration of Russia's growing strike capabilities occurred on 28 September 2025, when the Russian armed forces launched one of the largest combined air assaults of the war. Strikes targeted 15 Ukrainian regions simultaneously, with reports indicating the use around 650 drones, up to 55 long-range cruise missiles from Tu-95 bombers, up to 8 Kaliber missiles, 2 Kinzhal hypersonic missiles, and several KH-59 missiles. While the scale of the operation was remarkable, the real story lay in the inclusion of the upgraded Kinzhal. Russian defense sources revealed that these weren't standard missiles. They were part of a newly enhanced Kinzhal series, designed with improved propulsion systems and upgraded guidance packages, significantly increasing both range and maneuverability. The missile now boasts an estimated speed of Mach 10 to 12, a strike range of up to 2,000 kilometers, and the ability to execute sharp evasive maneuvers during its terminal phase, a nightmare scenario for air defense operators. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, which follow predictable arcs, Kinzhal operates more like a gliding spear. After being launched from the MiG-31i at high altitude and speed, it accelerates to hypersonic velocity and can alter its trajectory mid-flight. This agility allows it to bypass radar tracking and interception attempts, even by the most advanced Western missile defense systems such as THAAD, Aegis SM-3, or Patriot Pac-3. This was clearly demonstrated on the 14th of September, when MiG-31 aircraft from Russia's ZAPAD group conducted a live-fire exercise over the Barents Sea, simulating attacks on critical enemy facilities using Kinzhal missiles. Analysts believe these drills served as both a training mission and a message, proof that Russia is ready to employ its upgraded hypersonic arsenal, not just in Ukraine, but against any adversary that challenges its air dominance. The power of the Kinzhal was even more evident in August 2025, when Russia unleashed one of the most intense waves of strikes since the start of the war. A combined force of 500 UAVs and missiles, including Iskanders, KH-101s, Gerberas, Gerans, and Kinzhals, devastated Ukrainian rear facilities. The attack struck key industrial sites such as the Kyiv radio plant, Spetsoboronmash, and Ukrspetsitum, destroying warehouses, repair centers, and command infrastructure. Civilian casualties were reported, and over 20 bombings led to widespread fires and heavy urban damage. Of course, none of this would be possible without the MiG-31i, the platform that makes the Kinzhal so effective. 
Originally designed during the Cold War to intercept high-speed bombers and cruise missiles, the MiG-31 remains one of the fastest operational aircraft in the world. With a top speed exceeding Mach 2.8 and a service ceiling above 20 kilometers, it can reach the edge of the stratosphere and launch missiles from an altitude and speed that significantly boost their range and velocity. The MiG-31 I is a specialized variant adapted to carry and launch hypersonic weapons. By releasing Kinzhal at high altitude and supersonic speed, it reduces the missile's fuel consumption and extends its reach, allowing it to strike targets far beyond what ground-based launch systems could achieve. This combination gives Russia a unique strategic edge, a mobile, airborne hypersonic strike platform capable of rapid deployment and unpredictable attack vectors. But the synergy goes deeper. The MiG-31E's speed and climb rate also allow it to evade interception before and after launch, making it extremely difficult for enemy forces to neutralize the threat before the missile is fired. Together, MiG-31I and Kinzhal function as a single integrated system, one that can strike faster, harder, and deeper than virtually any other platform currently in service. The strategic consequences extend far beyond the current conflict. The presence of MiG-31, I aircraft armed with Kinzals on NATO's eastern flank, drastically reduces warning times for European defense systems. Critical targets in Poland, Germany, and the United Kingdom could potentially be hit within 10 minutes of launch, leaving decision makers with dangerously little time to respond. Moreover, the success of the Kinzhal program is likely to accelerate the global hypersonic arms race. Western militaries will now prioritize developing counter-hypersonic technologies from space-based early warning systems to directed energy interceptors in a bid to close the widening gap. So that's what we have for today. Thanks for watching.